brothers and sisters in Christ, I'd like to welcome you to this part of the reflection that is part of the ongoing series in preparation for the celebration of the Feast of Corpus Christi. And my topic today is the Eucharist and the unity of Christians. The corresponding uh, articles can be found in the Catechism of the Catholic Church, 1398 to 1401. And I would like to start this reflection with a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. That is the 17th chapter, verse 20 to 23. Jesus said, I do not pray for these only, but also for those who believe in me through their word, that they may all be one, even as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. The glory which you have given me, I have given to them, that they may be one, even as we are one. I in them and you in me, that they may become perfectly one, so that the world may know that you have sent me and have loved them even as you have loved me. As we can see in this Gospel reading, it is Jesus' wish, it is Jesus' ardent desire for all of us as his followers to be one, to be united just as he is united with the Father. And of course, the Eucharist unites us with God. In the Eucharist, Jesus becomes one with us. He shares his body and his blood with us so that we might be one with him and one with God the Father. But the Eucharist not only remains on that vertical level. It is not just about my personal unity with God, but it is also and just as importantly about my unity with my brothers and sisters in the church, about being one with them too, so that we truly and really can be one as a church community. And of course, history has taught us, especially in the last 500 years or so, the painful separation of Christians, that since the Reformation really in the 16th century, we see that we are not one as a church, we are not one as one church, but the Christian church has been fragmented in many different groups and denominations. And it is important that we too, each and every one of us, need to work towards the unity of Christians. Not to just say, oh, well, let's invite everybody and, and so on, because the problem is that not everyone believes the same as we do, especially with regards to the Eucharist, with regards to the sacraments, with regards to the real presence of Jesus in the sacraments, and it is important that we nonetheless be people who are on fire for the Eucharist, are people who are passionate about the Eucharist and about Jesus that meets us in the Eucharist. And that we can, through our witness, through our prayer, through our life and through our being Eucharistic people, bring about a little bit more unity in our parishes, but also in the greater church and between churches. So let us pray. Loving Father, we give you thanks that you've loved us so much that you sent your Son to be one of us and that he died for our sins on the cross. We thank you for the gift of the Eucharist and we ask, Lord, that you may bring the divided Christianity together around the one table of the Eucharist, that we truly and really may be one as you wanted us to be one 
in your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.